welcome to Becoming the Community CEO. I'm your host, Roberto Candelaria. And over the past several years, I've partnered with leaders around the world to build highly engaged and profitable communities. Through this journey, I also discovered the characteristics that these communities had in common. And today, I'm here to share them with you. Together, we'll explore conversations around community building, partnerships, leadership, and profits. These are the core areas to becoming the community CEO. And now, let's jump into this week's episode. Well, hey, y'all, welcome back. So today we're going to be chatting about five ways that community leaders monetize online. And when I say community leaders, listen, this could be your Facebook group, your YouTube following, your Instagram following, even those of you that are building communities online on platforms such as Circle or other places, or maybe you have an offline community as well. You see, while people may take on the title of community leader or community builder, oftentimes there are other titles that go with that in what we do. And so coaches can be community leaders, consultants could be community leaders. And even if you're just starting out in business and starting out in community, you may only have like, hey, I've got three or four people here. You could be starting your community because when people build community, we all start the same place with an idea. With an idea, we go out, we get started, that first person joins, and then the next, and the next, and the next. And then as it continues to grow, then people start to realize like, man, it might take some money to to make this community a business, or even if I don't want to make it a business, in order to keep moderators around, or to bring on VAs, or to pay for graphics, or to pay for software that we may need for community management, or like text message numbers or software like Active Campaign or Entreport for emails, these things take money. And how are we making money online? And so today we'll be sharing five ways that community leaders monetize online. So I hope you got a pen, hope you got a paper. Listen, if you're driving, because driving's when I listen to podcasts, please do not pull out a pen and paper and attempt to take notes while driving. Like, please don't do that. When you're driving, you should be driving, not on your phone not writing, not texting, not any of that stuff. So number one here is affiliate and JV income. And there's two sides to this conversation, as I've mentioned in a previous uh, episode of the show, is number one is where you promote others. So, you know, you've already got an online community, whether that, you know, be online or offline, I should say, actually, you've got your community and you're saying, Hey, what is a way that I could bring in money by promoting things that my people are seeking access to? And so a great few places to be able to look, and this is where I say write them down if you're not driving, is you know Amazon Associates or an Amazon uh, Influencer Store, ClickBank, JVZoo, PartnerStack, the eBay Partner Network, and also one of the ones and two of them, I should say, that people oftentimes forget is reaching out to your community members. You know, oftentimes if they're selling on Shopify or they have online courses or they've got eBooks, they've got products, oftentimes you can reach out to promote the businesses of your community members and be able to make an affiliate income that well. You could also reach out to coaches and trainers that you've worked with, to mentors that you've worked with. You know, Um, One of the things that I've done is, you know, I've promoted several of my mentors over the year. People like Tom Antion. And listen, I loved it when he'd send me those emails. I get those emails like, Roberto Candelaria, you've just referred a sale. Man, I loved opening those emails because I was like, is it going to be $7? Is it going to be $248? What is that number going to be? And so promoting others through affiliate income is a great way. And when you look at these, Look at some that provide the opportunity for recurring monthly revenue. Example of that are things like, you know, maybe software such as Kajabi or Active Campaign or Entreport. Those are a few of my favorite monthly recurring affiliate programs because as people pay every month, then Kajabi pays us every month. And so monthly recurring are also great ones as well. But the other side of this affiliate thing and so we can call this 1.A or 1.B, whichever one you want, is that you find other people to promote you. And 
This could be your friends. This could be community members, coaches. You could place it on places like JVZoo that have a marketplace of other people looking. You could place it on ClickBank. Place your digital product for sale on there and reach out to their affiliate networks to be able to get more sales of your product, your program, your service there as well. So number two is freelancing and consulting. And, you know, this is one that I think that people think about when they are looking to hire someone to fill a gap in their business, to fill a gap in the community, but that sometimes it's forgotten that, hey, as you're starting out or you're looking for, you know, that extra Christmas money or just a a little, you know, extra vacation fund money, that getting paid for what you know or the skill set you have is an amazing way. And a few of the platforms that we personally love are uh, Guru, uh, Freelancer, Clarity.fm, Upwork, FreeUp, and Fiverr. And like I said, I've hired off these sites, but there are places that we also tell people, hey, there are people looking for what you know, for what you do. It's a great place to be able to go list yourself on there as a freelancer to be able to make money that way and still be able to run your community. Now, number three is through teaching and coaching, which this is another way to get paid for for what you know. And this could be done through ebooks or online courses or group coaching, uh, group coaching or challenge groups, uh, live and virtual events, one on one coaching, digital products, memberships. There are all types of ways and technology has now made it so much simpler for you to be able to get paid for what you know by serving people with the information you have. And, you know, even as you create, if it's, let's say, an online course or a digital product, you know, you could use platforms such as Gumroad or um, Moon Clerk to get started at literally almost no cost in there. Now, number four is reselling or wholesaling. And this is an episode I actually need to bring somebody into, I should, we should do some training on and have a conversation about because um, while I have several friends that uh, have amazing communities, um, you know, they all started exactly at the beginning like everybody else does. Some of them now make seven and now eight figures a year through reselling and wholesaling. And um, it's about finding the products, right? that your community needs as you become a reseller or wholesaler and start online boutiques that way. And then number five would be print on demand. And, you know, for Octonation, we use things like Printify, we use Printful. There's also a couple other people that we work with as well. But, you know, this is for shirts and mugs and stickers and pillows and books and coloring books There are so many things that can be print on demand where once you design it or hire somebody off of Fiverr or Upwork or some other platform to design it, you can literally put your stuff up there and start selling merchandise to your community that you don't have to print, print, you don't have to fulfill, you ain't got to ship it. And it's just such an amazing way to allow your community to be able to support, but also bring in monetization online. And, you know, I think a sixth one that I would add here, kind of going with the reselling and the wholesaling slash print on demand combination. So number six here would be a subscription box, because as your community really comes together, they're going to want more and more what you have. So subscription boxes are also another great way to monetize your community. So I know I promised five, we went through six. So uh, again, I'm curious, How are you monetizing your community? You know, there are so many other ways. And, you know, as we mentioned, teaching and coaching within that live and virtual events, there are so many ways. And what I love about business, what I love about community is that we truly, just like Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, right? We live in a world where, especially with all the technology today, we live in a world of pure imagination where if we seek to find a way and have a desire to be able to serve our people, to serve our communities, there is a way to serve and be paid. So yeah, let me know. How are you monetizing your community? And I'll chat with you soon on the next episode. 
Well, howdy, and thanks for listening to another episode of the show. Hey, if you'd love to stay in contact with us, visit robertoteaches.com to connect with me on social media, learn about our Facebook groups and other places that we can connect to help you on your journey to becoming the community CEO. And if you're loving the show, do me a favor. I'd love for you to subscribe, rate, and give us a review on iTunes or your favorite podcast listening platform. 